The control center on your iPhone is an instant access menu to the commonly used features like Wi-Fi, brightness, volume and more with a single swipe gesture. But understanding how to use the control center of your iPhone can be a little complicated. So in this video, we are going to cover these steps for helping you to understand how to use the control center in the right way. Firstly, to access the control center of your iPhone in the right way, you need to use the swipe down gesture from the right place of your screen, which is the top right corner. And then once you swipe down, you should see the control center. But if you try to access it from here or from here, then it won't work. And to close it back, simply just swipe up. If you are using iPhone standard edition 8 or older, then you need to swipe up from the bottom of your screen, like you see in this example here, and you can use the home button to close it back. However, if you still can't access to the iPhone control center, then it might be disabled. So when you want to enable or disable the accessibility of the control center, for example, when your screen is locked, then first go to settings, scroll down and select face ID and passcode, then enter your passcode, scroll down again, and here you should see the control center option where you can enable or disable the accessibility even when your phone is locked. So if you enable it, and after you lock your screen, when you try again, this time you should have access to the control center. And if you can't access to the control center when you are inside an app, for example, then one more time, go to settings, swipe down and select control center. And here you should see the option to enable or disable the accessibility to the control center within the apps. If the option is disabled, here you can enable it back and then you should have access to the control center even when you are inside an app as well. Now let's talk about some of the essential control center features. When you open your control center, you will see here some icons and apps which can be used as shortcuts and for taking some quick actions. Some of these apps here can be different on your phone and soon in a minute I will show you how to add and remove these apps here on your control center. But before that, let's talk about how to use some of these apps here. On the top left side, you see four icons. For example, if you want to switch your phone to the airplane mode, you can quickly do it from here. Simply just tap on it and your phone will switch to the airplane mode. And to turn it back off, simply just tap one more time. You can do the same for the other icons here, which is for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and mobile data controls. There are even two hidden icons here. You can't see them right now. If you tap and hold on this section, then it gets bigger and you will find here two extra icons, which is for the airdrop feature and for personal hotspot. This one on the right side is for media controls. If you are playing music in the background, for example, you can adjust your music and playlist settings easily from here. You can also adjust the sound and the brightness level of your phone easily like this. If you tap and hold to the brightness level, you'll find here additional features such as switching your phone to the dark mode or to the light mode, switching the night shift, which disables the blue light color of your screen, and switching the true tone of your phone. This icon here is the portrait orientation lock. If you turn it on, your screen won't move when you change the direction of your phone. This one is for screen mirroring. You can use it if you have other Apple devices. And this one is for the focus mode. Another useful feature you'll find on your control center is the focus mode, where you can enable the do not disturb mode, for example. If you tap and hold it, you will see here a couple of options and the first one is the Do Not Disturb option. Activating the Do Not Disturb mode silences notifications, sounds, alerts, and messages. And if you have other Apple devices signed in with your Apple ID, then this mode will be activated on your other devices as well. When you click on the three dots here, it will give you additional options, like you can activate this mode within a time range, like for an hour only, or until this evening, 
or like location based when time is up or when you leave a specific location then this mode should turn off automatically and one quick tip here when this mode is enabled then you should see on the top status bar a moon like icon which basically tells that do not disturb mode is enabled just in case later maybe you forget to turn it off this mode then you can understand that this mode is turned on from this icon and when you want to turn this mode off simply just go back to your control center and you can disable it back here the other icons you see here are shortcuts of some apps like calculator camera screen recording flashlight and so on another tip i would like to give here you can turn your flashlight on and off from this button here but if you tap and hold the flashlight icon you will be able to adjust the brightness level of your phone's flashlight all right now let's talk about how to customize the control center by adding or removing apps so when you go back to your control center these apps here can be different for your device and the reason is because you can add or remove them but currently you can't just directly change them from here you need to go to the settings tab of your phone once you are on the settings tab scroll down and select control center and here below you should see a list of controls or apps in other words so these are included controls already on your control center but these ones here below they are not included if you want to add one of these apps here simply just click on this plus sign let's say we choose the low power mode then you can quickly activate it when your phone's battery is low and once you click on the plus sign then you can see it here in the included controls list you can drag their position from here and if you click on this red sign and you tap on remove then it will be taken out of your control center now i go back to my control center and as we can see now the low power mode is now here now if i need it i can easily enable or disable it from here one more thing i would like to mention is that you can only add apps that you find on this list so as i know you won't be able to add any other apps but just the ones that are included on this list so using the control center efficiently will not only save you time but also it makes much easier to use an iphone if you find this video helpful please don't forget to hit the like button let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and see you in the next video